One of the most recognizable and well-liked breeds of dog in the entire world is the German Shepherd. German Shepherds are not only wise, but also devoted, vigilant, and beautiful to watch in motion. German Shepherds give their owners happiness and company. However, because of its energy level and unique demands and characteristics, this breed is not ideal for everyone. In today's video, we have brought you 10 reasons to not get a German Shepherd. Number 1. They shed a lot. Your level of work commitment will decide the kind of dog you should own. You shouldn't adopt a German Shepherd if you can't routinely brush your dog and clean up after him. With the exception of those with long hair, GSDs often have two coats, and the undercoat hair sheds more quickly than a middle-aged dad who is under financial stress. However, because the fur is regenerated almost as quickly as it is shed, they do not completely lose its appearance as a result of shedding. However, picking up loose fur is time-consuming. The loose hair will transfer to your jeans when your dog feels comfy and brushes up against your leg. The friction of other surfaces, such as carpets, sofas, and clothing, can trap loose fur. German Shepherds live between 9 and 13 years, therefore you need to decide if you're prepared to give your dog two hours per week to be brushed twice a week. Number 2. They can be aggressive. German Shepherds can become aggressive if they are not properly trained, which is one of the main arguments against getting one. The breed's members aren't socially adept by nature, despite being among the smartest in the hierarchy of canine intellect. In actuality, their early experiences completely shape how they perceive the norms. You could become isolated if you don't often invite friends over and are too busy to take your German Shepherd puppy for walks. By studying the constant elements in their environment, German Shepherds establish the starting point for zero danger. If one of those variables is sleeping alone, the dog might be quite suspicious if someone is in your bed. Unsocialized GSDs may assume that any human other than those who reside in the home is a threat. Number 3. They require lots of active involvement. The key takeaway from the possibility of German Shepherds becoming a social is that they require effort. This may be considered a disadvantage by some. Many people consider it a drawback that you cannot passively own a German Shepherd. German Shepherds require one to two hours of exercise each day, otherwise, their pent-up energy manifests as unplanned testing of their fangs and claws. Therefore, you must come up with strategies to use your dog's excess energy if you don't want your furniture to constantly be in danger of becoming a chew toy. Number 4. They can develop separation anxiety. German Shepherds are not a good choice for anyone who must leave their dog alone for long periods of time since they can experience separation anxiety. They struggle if left alone for extended periods of time because they are such a loving breed and adore being with their family. The anxiety that their owner won't come back causes the breed to become extremely agitated and anxious. They start biting, howling, barking, panting, digging, trying to flee, or peeing within the house as a result of this. Number 5. They need a larger space. German Shepherds can live in smaller quarters and be apartment dogs, but it takes a lot of work to train one to do such. They do not accept pets for some individuals just based on this characteristic. Generally speaking, they work well for bigger or middle-sized houses with yards. The German Shepherd's need for action is a bigger factor in this demand than his size. German Shepherd dogs, GSDs, can be hefty and grow up to 26 inches, shoulder height, especially if they are the show line variety rather than the working line version. Their size imposes a space constraint that a small dwelling is unable to handle. Additionally, because GSDs cannot be crated all day, the dog will be on the go, endangering the apartment's possessions. Number 6. They can reject your dominance. German Shepherds fall into the category of bad dogs because they do not automatically accept the owner to whom they are continually exposed as their protector or alpha, while many GSDs do imprint on their owners and begin following them as puppies. Persons who lack assertiveness, anchoring, and the ability to carry out commands can quickly fall in rank. If you don't know how to assert your dominance over a German Shepherd, they will need to learn their position in relation to you and may reject your alpha status. You might prefer a more passive dog breed if you lack the time or patience to teach your dog to obey you while expressing your social position. Number 7. They are expensive. 
German Shepherd dogs are quite pricey. According to research, a German Shepherd puppy costs an average of $2,000. However, you may spend as little as $300 if you decide to adopt a German Shepherd from a shelter, perhaps a rescue dog. Some groups are content to recoup the price of feeding, immunizations, and basic medical treatment. Once you've decided on your new German Shepherd, you must consider additional upfront costs for items like a crate, bed, toys, collar, leash, etc., as well as ongoing monthly costs for things like food, treats, vet visits, flea and warming treatments, and pet insurance, which is, of course, an option. When added together, these expenses mount up. Number 8. They are prone to medical conditions. German Shepherds are susceptible to several medical issues, therefore choosing the correct breeder for your puppy is essential. Even if there are no symptoms of a medical problem, you should still take your German Shepherd to the vet twice a year for a checkup. Any future issues can be stopped or slowed down by a knowledgeable veterinarian. Nevertheless, even if you take all necessary precautions while purchasing a German Shepherd, there is no assurance that your dog won't have any hereditary diseases. This is regrettably one of the drawbacks of German Shepherds. Number 9. They are more than guard dogs. There is a misconception that all GSDs are aggressive and make excellent security dogs. As much as they adore and cherish their owners, they guard them. All dogs, even GSDs, are naturally protective and guardian. However, if you are purchasing a GSD to place in the backyard to keep your car and possessions safe, may we suggest getting a home alarm system instead. Number 10. They require physical affection. German Shepherds are known for their love and affection. They thrive when showered with love and admiration by their owners in return for all the unconditional love they give. If you're not up for belly rubs, scratching behind the ears, or doling out physical affection regularly, the GSD is not for you. German Shepherds are best suited for families or individuals with large homes. Owners need plenty of time and patience to properly train and care for a new pup, as an isolated and untrained GSD can become aggressive and dangerous. If you cannot dedicate time to your dog or simply don't like walks and socializing, then a German Shepherd is a bad dog to have. Opting for a smaller breed that doesn't require as much exercise is recommended in that case. German Shepherd dog owners should be prepared for an energetic dog that needs a job. Even if your GSD will be a pet, they were bred to work and will need an outlet for their energy and drive. Keep in mind that you will need to provide your dog with extensive physical and mental exercise every day. That's all for today. Hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.